Welcome to the SaberRD online training course. This series of fast-paced videos will quickly teach you the full power of the SaberRD simulation environment. In this section, we look at the operating point and small signal frequency analyses. We start by looking at the four basic simulations in SaberRD. All of these simulations must start with an initial point. An initial point is a file that specifies the state of the circuit to be simulated. It contains a matrix of values for the node voltages, currents, and other system variables. There is a special type of initial point called an operating point. It is a system state where DC power sources are applied, but all time varying variables are set to zero. It's equivalent to powering up the circuit and letting startup transients completely settle before applying any time or frequency dependent stimulus. The operating point analysis, also known as DC analysis, creates the initial point file for the operating point. The analysis essentially removes all the dynamic elements from the circuit and solves the circuit. DC sources are applied, AC and transient sources are set to zero, capacitors become opens, inductors become shorts. To perform an operating point analysis, select the Simulation tab, choose Operating Point from the pull-down menu, and press the Execute button. The bar graph indicates progress. Messages from the simulator will appear in the transcript window. After the simulation is complete, a report is automatically generated and displayed to show the DC node voltages of the operating point. Back annotation can be used to project the operating point directly onto the schematic. This is done by selecting the View tab and locating the Back Annotation section. From the File pull-down, select DC. Selecting the Across and Through buttons toggles the display of these operating point results onto the schematic. Small Signal Frequency Analysis provides insight into the response and stability of a design. We'll show how to run the Small Signal Frequency Analysis by applying it to this bandpass filter circuit. Before running the analysis, it's important that at least one source has AC stimulus specified. For this example, the input source has normalized stimulus values of 1 for the magnitude and 0 for the phase. Small signal frequency analysis is accessed by going to the Simulation tab and selecting it from the pull-down. The only parameters to set are the start and end frequencies. The frequency steps are logarithmically spaced by default. An operating point analysis is automatically executed before the small signal analysis. Upon completion, a plot file is generated. Selecting the output signal shows the frequency response of the circuit. Two waveforms show the magnitude and phase. A grid can be added by selecting it under the View tab. Going to the Analyze tab and selecting Apply Measures brings up a dialog box. The Frequency Domain submenu shows that there are a number of useful measurements available. The bandwidth measure is chosen, and the result is displayed on the plot. Because SaberRD supports mixed domains, small signal analysis is not limited to electrical systems. As an example, applying it to this loudspeaker design generates a frequency response for the combination of the electrical voice coil and the mechanical diaphragm. Small signal frequency analysis has very fast execution times. Even for large circuits, the results are almost instantaneous. However, it has some significant limitations. First, as the name implies, it assumes small perturbations about an operating point. Effects from signals spanning a larger region of operation will not be reflected in the results. Second, it is not effective with digital components. Finally, it is normally not effective when applied to switch systems, such as phase-locked loops, switching power supplies, and pulse-width modulators. However, a common tactic is to replace switches with state space average models to enable small signal analysis for such applications. The SaberRD library has a wide variety of averaged models that enable rapid frequency analysis of switch systems. This concludes this section of the SaberRD online training course. To download a free student version of SaberRD, go to the Synopsys website. To further your understanding of this material, Go through the lab exercises found at the link listed in the description of this video.